morning everyone. Today's Thursday the 1st of April. Gosh, April already. That's January, February, March wasted for me this year. Um, I'm making the video a day early because Friday the 2nd of April is Paul's birthday so I wanted to do it today. And um, didn't do one last week for two reasons. First of all, you know I've got another channel, All Things Have an Ease, and I made two videos for that. And that took me quite a lot of hours last week. So I just didn't have time to do a video for myself. But also, I wasn't on plan. And I haven't been on plan now. This is in the second week. So when I decided I wasn't doing a video last week, that was it. I just went mad. Um, and I just feel like a hypocrite if I turn up and make a video about weight loss. And I'm actually not losing weight. So I'm not on plan. So... I'm a bit of a crossroads at the moment, if I'm honest with you. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on. I'm finding it very difficult to stop this self-sabotage. You know, I'm getting into the habit when I know I've got to do the Friday video. I need to lose weight. It's about weight loss. I put myself under pressure and I think, right, I'm going to have to do some fasting to get this weight off or, or to lose weight for Friday's weigh-in. So then I spend all day fasting and I get to the end of the day, I'm tired I'm grouchy, you know, evening routines, cook the evening meal for the family, you know, tidy up, clean the kitchen down, load the dishwasher, unload the dishwasher, sort some washing out, um, you know, feed the dogs, I've got a routine with the dogs, like cleaning the teeth, you know, there's lots of things happening in the evening, it's a bit like having a baby, when you, you have a bit of a shock to the system when you first have a baby and you think, where's my evening's gone? That's what my day's like. So my evening routines is really, really full on, and then when I sit down, I'm tired and I'm fed up. Um, and I've just got into this habit of eating, you know, starting to snack, really. And I've broken promises to myself so many times over the last two weeks. I don't think my mind believes a word I say anymore. And I'm just struggling to put my actions and follow through, you know, into place. So anyway, I decided to sit down and analyse what I was doing Um and looking at my bad habits really. <sighs> and my danger time, my danger time is when I sit down and I'm sitting down with Paul and we watch TV, we watch a couple of soaps um, on playback and it may be an hour then before it's bedtime. But when you're watching TV, I cannot tell you, and if, you, if it doesn't bother you, you probably don't even think about it, but how many food adverts are on TV. And I'll see something, I'll go, oh, God, I fancy that. And the pals say, oh, I do too. And it's just like subliminal messaging all the time. And then I might have a snack, might have something. And then that's like the floodgates have opened. I can't stop. And one snack is leading to lots of unhealthy snacks. So the thing that's holding me back is a bad, I'm, I'm all right all day. I can fast all day. I can stick to keto if I'm going to eat something. But I get to the evening when I finish this evening routine and sit down, watch TV. And as I start to relax, I'm seeing food, food, food. And it's this bad evening routine that's really holding me back. I'm okay the rest of the day. But I don't like that person that I've become. You know, I feel like a failure. I don't believe I can do it. I don't believe I can achieve my goals. And I'm waking up every morning thinking, oh, I've done it again. I've failed again. And I'm continually feeling guilty. Um, and my mind is, well, I'll start tomorrow. I'll be good tomorrow. I'm not really believing in myself that that will happen. So, you know, how can I stop this? I need to move forward. I feel like I'm, I'm stuck in, in mud and that I can't move. So, you know, the thing is, the results, which will be weight gain, and I haven't even weighed myself because I don't want to know what I weigh. I think that would be uh, really demoralising for me. But the results are a direct consequence of actions. So if I'm eating rubbish, I'm going to get fat, you know, and I don't want that. So I, I've sat down and really analysed, what can I do? How can I break this cycle? What can I do now to make a change? Because it's not just good enough wanting to do it, I need to put some actions in place. So I think the first thing I've got to do is put some work into my own mindset, into some positive thinking and planning. Um, so I've signed up for a, a masterclass at weekend, a mindset masterclass to try and help me um, put some strategies in place, you know, to deal with negative behaviours really. So I've signed up for a, a mindset masterclass 
And then the other thing is the evenings, it's the night times, it's the only time I'm going off plan, but I'm doing it big style when I do it. So I'm going to change my evening routine. I mean, Paul, uh, my husband, he's not dieting. He doesn't need to lose weight. He is diabetic, um, but he is a bad influence, I have to say, and he knows he's as well. He'll say something, and we're both a bad influence. No, I can't blame Paul. We're a bad influence on each other. So if I have something, I'll get one for him, and then he'll say, oh, I just fancy this, and then that starts me off. So um, in an evening now, I've decided, starting today, when I sit down, I'm going to sit in the other room. Paul's got his own, we call it his man cave, but it's a little snug where we normally sit at night and watch TV. But we've got a big lounge. So I'm going to go and sit in the lounge and I'm going to take, rather than just watching TV, I'm going to take my knitting with me or something crafted that will actually occupy my mind and give my mind something to think about and I'll just listen to the TV rather than watching TV and seeing all these adverts on food. So I'm going to sit in separate rooms for the time. Uh, well I'll get there in the end um, but that's that's the, the best thing that I think I can do at the moment to help myself is to take me out of that situation and give myself something else to occupy my mind with and I know um, if I do one night I know I can make it through two nights and I know then I can do three nights but it's just I have to make that change so I've got some notes here um, so I'm going to keep my mind focused rather than looking at these subliminal messages all the time on TV that are all food related, which are not keeping me in a healthy headspace really. So one evening I know can become two, I know I can become three. And the other thing I'm gonna do is just focus on keto foods because I've been trying to fast to make up for being bad at night and it's not doing me any good because I'm actually hungry and then I'm eating all the wrong things. So Next week, I'm just going to focus. I'm not even focusing on weight loss. I will weigh myself in the morning and I will keep a log of it and I will check in again next Friday. But I'm focusing on just eating keto foods. So if I do eat, it's all keto friendly stuff. And just to get back into that and to cut out the sugar um, and just cut out that rubbish really. And staying keto would be a bonus. If I lose weight, that will be a bigger bonus, but just staying keto next week will be a bonus for me. And the change has had to happen now. I have to make that change now, not tomorrow, because tomorrow never comes. So I'm gonna check in next week. I'll share, I'm hopefully I'll learn something from this masterclass that I can share that will help other people because I really need that mindset now. I really need some help with mindset. And that is the biggest part of any keto journey, any weight loss journey is mindset, it's mind over matter all the times. So if I learn some new tools, then I will share them next week. And hopefully if you're struggling, it will help you too, because you know I've done six months of strict keto, six months of losing weight, and then Christmas, January, February, March, I just can't get back into the swing of it. So I need to deal with the mindset. And I think that is the biggest reason why people fail, why people put weight back on. Um, you know, it's the emotional, mental side of things. So, I'm not sure what happened there. My video cut off before I actually finished talking. So I'm hoping to learn something. I'm hoping to have a much, much better week um, to try and turn this negative mindset into a positive mindset. Um, and if I learned anything, I will let you know. If you're dieting, good luck. Um, you know, I wish you all the best with your dating next week and check in and let's see how I've gone on next week. Bye.